And then James will be like, let's pray. The Bible says that's one of the most powerful weapons that you have against the enemy. It's called the power of agreement. Whatsoever you ask, agreeing together, it shall be done for you by my Father. That's why you notice the enemy tries to sow seeds of strife in the marriage. Because he wants to take away the power of agreement. How about a, a great hand clap for James and you? Are you learning something this morning? Amen. 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 So how desperate are you for your miracle? In Luke chapter 9, Verse 23 to 26. I will read it in English and Pastor Potika will read in Japanese. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? ルカの9章の23、24です。このように書いてあります。それからみんなのものに言われた。誰でも私についてきたいと思うなら、自分を捨て、日々、自分の十字架を追って私に従ってきなさい。自分の命を救おうと思う者はそれを失い。私のために自分の命を失う者はそれを救うであろう。人が全世界を設けても、自分自身を失い。Now take a look at this. Jesus is speaking. If anyone desires to come after me or to follow me, how many of you desire to follow Jesus? I want to see your hands. Amen. We all want to follow Jesus. And look at this. Jesus says, if you desire to follow me, you must deny yourself. You must take up your cross daily. Did you hear that? For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. This is, this is a challenge with many Christians. Many profess to know God, but by their lifestyle they deny Him. Many, I'm sorry. Many profess to know God, but by their lifestyle they deny Him. In Matthew chapter 15, Jesus says this, verse 8. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So, when they're at church, they lift up their hands and they worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're the lover of my soul. I love you with all of my heart. Right? right? Then they go to work. And they curse their co workers. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Why can't I buy it? It's a made up word. <laughs> they start speaking foul language. They're one way in the church and another way in the church. 
And Jesus is scratching his head and he says, Many honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. They're just religious. They don't truly want to follow me. When you have unbroken fellowship with the Lord, when you're always having time in the presence of God, when you're always seeking the Lord, what's a priority for Him will become a priority for you. Whatever is important to God, it will become important to me. And whatever you consider to be a priority or important, you will make time for it. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Many lack interest regarding the things of God. Some people neglect reading the Bible. They don't pray. They don't go to Bible studies. Discipleship classes. They don't come to church. Because they're just too busy. Because they're just too tired. And I ask them, do you love God? Oh yes, Pastor, I love God with all of my heart. <laughs> he is first place in my life. Jesus gave his life for my redemption. So that I can be healed. So that I can be delivered. So I can be restored and set free. Right? But they only give the Lord one hour to two hours a week. Where you invest your time tells you what your priority is. Amen. Because let me tell you, there's people that will go to the movies, they'll go to a nice dinner, they'll go to a birthday party, they'll go to the ball game, even when they are tired. <laughs> right? But not so when it comes to the things of God. We have to live by conviction and not the compromise of this world. Jesus says, if you desire to follow me, deny yourself. I can see you are all very excited about this message. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Mark chapter 10. There is a blessing to this. Mark chapter 10, verse 28 to 30. I'm going to read. Then Peter began to say to Jesus, See, we have left all and followed you. So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time. 
、えー、マルコの10章の28から30、ペテロがイエスに言い出した。ご覧なさい。私たちは一切を捨てて、あなたに従ってまいりました。29節、イエスは言われた。よく聞いておくがよい。誰でも私のために、また福音のために、家、兄弟、姉妹、母、父、子、もしくは畑を捨てた者は必ずその100倍を受ける。すなわち今この時代では家、兄弟、姉妹、母、子、及び畑を迫害とともに受け、また来たるべき世では永遠の生命を受ける。あ、ごめんなさい。読みすぎたかな。はい。See, the apostle Peter heard a message similar to what you're hearing this morning. 今朝私が喋っているこのこと、同じようなことをペテルは喋っている部分がこれです。イエス様、私たち全部捨ててあなたにくっついてきましたよ。And Jesus responds. さらにイエス様のお答えは、Because you left houses, brothers, lands, fathers, sisters, brothers, wives, for my sake and the gospel, You will receive a hundred times as much in this lifetime. We cannot outgive God. When you give your life and you surrender to Him, He gives you everything. I had、uh, one disciple in Hawaii. I, I mentor and disciple 12 men. And I said to them, you know, if you're always deploying in the military, I, I don't think I can have you on my team. もしあなたが軍に入っていて、いつもあちこちにこう派遣されちゃうでしょ、軍だと。だとすると、私はあなたをチームに置くことできないんだよって言います。Like、だって、例えばね、ベースボールのチームであるにしろ、何の他のゲームであるにしろね、その人たちがいなかったらどうやってゲームできますかそうだったら、勝利者の側のチームにはなれませんよね。I said, I said, I love you guys, but for this top level leadership, I need you to be with me always. Now, this man, he's, he's an outstanding Marine. Very well decorated in the military. This has been his lifelong dream to be a Marine. And he only has five more years and he would retire and get pension for life. But when he heard what I shared, he, he cried. And he came up to me and he says, Pastor Wally, I'm going to retire early from the Marine Corps. Because I want to be a follower of Christ. I want to be your disciple. And I was like, Are you sure? <laughs> You're almost done with your military service. And he says, Pastor, I want to answer the call of God. He surrendered that. His dream. He put it on the altar of God. Now, at that point, his marriage was falling apart. He was in the midst of financial ruin. But he says, Pastor, I need God in my life. What good is all these accomplishments if my family is falling apart? もし私が全世界も OK でこれらのものが全部 OK でも私の家族がめちゃくちゃだったら一体何が He said, I don't want anything to be more important than the Lord. 
。だから私は主以外、イエス・キリスト以外、大事にするものはもうしたくないだと思いました。And he retired early. I was at his ceremony. そして彼は5年も早くリタイア、引退しました。で私はその引退の式の時におりました。He answered the call and he's one of my He's actually become one of my key disciples. Today, he is a mighty man of God. Today, because I am here, I had him preach in my place. そしてこういうところまで行ったんです。今日私はここに来てプリーチしてるでしょう。92 men this morning. 92人今朝ね、あの、プリーチしたそうです。で、彼は私に代わって向こうでプリーチできるほどになったと。で、92人、え、uh, uh, 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 His marriage is restored. そして彼の結婚生活は回復しました。His children are serving the Lord. そして彼の子供たちは神様に仕える子供となりました。His daughter has her own life group. 彼の娘さんは自分のライフグループを持つほどになりました。And she is reaching her classmates. そして彼女は自分のクラスメートにどんどんリーチしています。There is financial stability. そして今は経済的にしっかりと堅固なものになりました。Why? Because Jesus said, イエス様おっしゃってんじゃありませんか If you give up everything, もしあなたが私のために全部を捧げるなら、for my sake and the gospel, 私のゆえにです。つまり福音の家にあなたがそれらを捨てるならば、I will bless you 私はあなたを100倍祝福するよとおっしゃったから。Amen. That's the promise of the Lord, not Pastor Wally. それこそが神様の<笑>約束なのです。Right? パスタルとの祝福であります。If we want the full fullness of God's Blessing, breakthrough, manifestation, we have to go all in. Pastor R has shared that 2017 is a year of blessing and multiplying. Pastor R has shared that 2017 is a year of blessing and multiplying. 私たちにとって祝福と増し加えの年だと。This is our year of blessing and more. これがその年なのです。祝福と増し加えの年です。God has, God has placed it upon my heart. 神様は私の心にあること思いを入れました。For those of you that are open. オープンな人。あなたたちの中で心オープンな人。If you believe that word. あなたはこのことを信じるな。And you're saying, God, I want that. I want to extend this invitation and opportunity for you. I would like to visit people's homes and their place of business and bless it. そしてそこに祝福をもたらしたいと思うし、ビジネスのところにも行って、まあ、祝福したいと思う。この年は今までの年と全然違う年です。もしあなたが神様に最も第一に置いてくださいと思うなら、神様はどんなことをしてくれるか。イザヤ chapter 43, verse 1 to 3. イザヤ書43章の1から3節。Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 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 chapter 43, verse 1 to 3. He says, Do not remember the former things nor the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. And it shall spring forth right now. So, what miracle are you believing God for? What miracle are you praying for? God wants to make that promise come to pass. But we cannot be people who just honor Him with our lips and our heart is far from Him.
This is the order of priority in life. これが Life のプライオリティ何を優先するかということです。Number one must be God. まず一番は神を第一とする。Number two, you need to take care of yourself. そして二つ目は自分自身も大事にします。You know, take care of yourself physically, spiritually. 霊的なことも。Number three, you must take care of your spouse. あなたの伴侶を大切にするということです。Number four, your family. あなたの家族をまた大事にするということです。Right? Right.Number five, your ministry. 五つ目が神様のこのミニストリーに関することです。And the last thing is work. 一番最後になるのが働きです。<笑> yes. I know, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, crazy. So that, so you know, When we 56 8 1 0 Go ahead and mail us, but you can also contact us via email. If you have any questions, if you have anything you want to share with us, you can email us at wolcc at wolhawaii.com. Again, that's wolcc, which stands for Word of Life Christian Center, wolcc at wordoflifehawaii.com. Please email us if you have any questions or if you Want to share any testimonies of what God is doing in your life? And we can also, we also have a church in Yokohama. If you're ever in Word of Life Yokohama, our pastor there is Pastor Fukiko Matsuzawa. And her phone number, well, let me give you her email.、Um, WOL dot Japan at FLU. T E dot O C N dot N E dot J P. You can, e- you can also email Word of Life Yokohama if you're ever going to be in the Tokyo, Yokohama area. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to being with you again next Saturday at 9 a.m. Until then, aloha. Aloha and welcome to our Word of Life radio program here in wonderful Okinawa, Japan. We give glory to the Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Today is a special day, no? Yes. Because God said, Tuesday is two men, two brothers, two men of God from Hawaii. Hawaii, Kara, Kami Sano, Mr. Kami, 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 They came all the way from Hawaii to bless us. God, thank you.、Uh, because many people don't know Pastor Waldi and Brother Nathan, so I'd like to introduce Pastor Art and G12 Pastor Waldi. Those are Pastor Waldi. You just stand. The one who supports Pastor Wally, and、uh, he is your 12. 12.、Uh, Pastor Wally, no, Juni, no, Chino, no, Brother Nathan. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
ちに、そう、他は全部知ってる。今日は私たちのために何か大きなメッセージをしてくださると信じます。We expect to hear from the Lord. どうぞ、パストオーリー、would you like to come here? Are you ready? Yes, ready. We will give you much time. はい。Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this day. We acknowledge your wonderful presence here in this place. Holy Spirit, we open up our heart this morning. And we pray that you would speak to every heart. そして私は祈ります。どうぞあなたがここにおられる人々の心に強く語ってくださるように。Expectation is the breeding ground for the miraculous. 期待をするというのは、これからミラクルが起こるその前の、えー、何でしたっけ ?Breeding g r o u n えー、っとね、期待がないところには奇跡は起こらないということです。We are expecting to hear a word. 私たちはあなたから御言葉を聞くことをとても期待しています。そしてそれは私たちを励まし、強めてくださるものです。Jesus name. イエス様のお名前によって。Amen. Amen.Amen.Amen.Well, it's great to be back once again. まあ、ここに戻ってこれて嬉しいです。The last time I was here was, I believe, about four years ago. And so you were all on Pastor Art and Pastor Kuna's heart. And so he gave me the wonderful privilege to be here with all of you. その特権を私に与えてくださいました。皆さんにお会いするようにね。You're all excited to receive from the Lord this morning? 今日、週から聞くのに皆さん、どうですか準備はできていますか Very good. Very good. Very good. Well, I want to read in 1 John chapter 3. 第一ヨハネの3章のところを読みたいと思います。Okay. 1 John chapter 3, if you're taking notes, verse 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, this one scripture tells us the reason why Jesus came into this earth. And it was to destroy the works of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Now, the one thing that I want you to take a look at. Is no matter what you are facing today, there is hope for you. The Bible tells us many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. Uh, uh, God's people go through many challenges in the trying times. Amen. But the Lord will always make a way for you to come out victorious. Because the Bible says Jesus is the author and finisher of your faith. In Romans chapter 8, the Bible says, If God is for you, 
Nothing can stand against you. ローマ書の8章には、神が私たちの味方なら何者も私たちに敵するものはない。And he even goes on further, he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. そしてさらにローマ書のそこのところに私はあなたを決して離さず見捨てないと言っています。God is a good God. 神様は良い神様です。So、I want you to take a personal inventory of your life today. ですから今、今日この時に、皆さんのライフのインベントリー、インベントリーってこのいろんなことが起きている、それを調べることね、インベントリーを取ってほしいと思っています。Maybe you're facing some physical challenges in your body. もしかしたらあなたは肉体的な,なんか辛さを通っているかもしれませんし。Maybe you're contending with challenges in the area of your finances. Or maybe there's conflict in your marriage or relationship. Understand that Jesus, He is a miracle worker, and with Him, nothing is impossible. Now, I want you to pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you. The Bible says, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. So, as I'm preaching the word to you, you're hearing the word of God. And faith is awakening on the inside of you. Amen. Amen. Now, sometimes we feel like The situation that we are facing is hopeless. But when you hear the word of God, all of a sudden, hope awakens. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we get, we hear of people who get doctor's report regarding cancer cells. Maybe high blood pressure or heart problems. Or maybe someone is facing depression or drug addiction. または、えー、薬物の、ドラッグアディクションで、ね、薬物中毒とか、そういったものに直面しているかもしれません。Or maybe our children have gone astray and it looks like there's just no hope for them. で、またはあなたの子供たちがどこかもう離れてしまって、えー、全くそこには望みがないわというような状態にあなたがいるかもしれません。Did you know that the Bible says when you pray, でもあなたは知っていますか聖書の中にはあなたが神の御言葉に従ってそれを祈り求めるなら、A miracle will take place. さっき奇跡が起こるということ。So the thing is, so、many people do not know what the word of God says. 多くの人は何が聖書を言っていることかということを知らないでいます。We have to pray the word of God. 私たちは神の御言葉を祈らなくてはなりません。The Bible says God's people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. 聖書はこう言っています。多くの人は滅ぼされてしまうのは神様に対する知識、御言葉の知識がないからだと聖書に書いてあります。So, All the things, all the list of negative things that I mentioned to you are the works of the devil. I want you to take a look at this. Let's say a person is facing depression. Maybe they didn't get the advanced promotion at work. Maybe they didn't, they didn't get accepted for the particular job that they were believing for. And then they begin to think, I'm no good. No、good だいいもいや私はいいもんじゃないわ。All hope is lost. あもう全部の望みが失われてしまった。What's the use of living? なんだってこの世に生きているそれは
And the person is only 19 years old. There is so much life ahead of them. But because they entertain negative thoughts, it begins to affect their behavior. Understand that what you believe will reflect, be reflected in your attitude and your conduct. I want you to do an exercise right now. I want you to pay very close attention to my instruction. Okay? Everyone close your eyes. You're going to count one to one hundred. Not out loud, but in your mind. When I count to three, you will begin. And as you're counting silently in your mind, listen carefully to my instruction. One, two, three, count. Count. While you're counting in your mind, when I say three, you say your first name, last name, and occupation out loud. One, two, three. Okay, look. How many of you said your first name and last name? Yeah. Okay, look at me now. How many of you finished counting to 100? How many of you finished counting to 100? Nobody? Nobody? Why? Why? Somebody says because I'm hearing you, or somebody said Nani. She was counting slowly. That's why. Okay, what else? Why, why didn't you finish counting to 100? Say, say, okay. I counted slowly. One, two, three, you then could you could three, 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 three. Okay. You mean? You mean that one? Her mind is, her focus is kind of uh, here and there. Okay, okay. That's the reason. Listen to the purpose of that exercise. In your mind, you are counting silently. But then I ask you to say your name out loud. Did you do that? Let me see your hand if you did it. Maybe I didn't say, let us speak it out loud. Maybe oh. I just said your name, your first name and the last name. Oh, okay, okay. So the purpose of that was you were supposed to speak out loud. Okay. So what happens is I'm counting silently in my mind. Then, then I say my name out loud, Pastor Wally Matanza, a pastor from Hawaii. When I do that, I interrupt my counting in my mind. My point is when the enemy begins to attack you with negative thoughts, when the enemy is saying, Nathan, you are no good. Look at you, you were the one that deserved the promotion, but you didn't get it. You just don't have what it takes. You just don't have what it takes. 
What does it mean? You're just not qualified. What Nathan needs to do is he needs to speak out loud in order to interrupt those negative thoughts. Nathan needs to speak, I am a child of God. I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ. Greater is he that lives in me than he that is in the world. With God, nothing is impossible. Now what happens? Depression cannot come upon you. Because you came against it with the power of God's word. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So if we want to destroy the words of the enemy, we cannot be a silent Christian. God raised the word of life Yokohama. To destroy and dismantle the works of the devil. Right here in the heart of Yokohama. So many people are going through depression. So many people are contending with physical ailments. So many people are going through conflicts in their relationship. And they feel that they're helpless. But when you open your mouth, when you choose to be unashamed of the gospel, you stop the enemy from attacking them with negative thoughts. If I see Nathan is going through something, I put my hand on his shoulder. I said, Nathan, God has a plan for your life. Don't be moved by that what's happening in your natural circumstance. The Bible says the things that we see are temporary. You must keep your eyes on Jesus. He is the author and finisher of your faith. If we're going to live victorious, we need to start speaking the language of faith. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> Amen. In Mark chapter 5, it speaks about this woman with the issue of blood. It also speaks about this religious ruler named Jairus. Now, this man Jairus, he had a daughter, and she was dying. So he runs to Jesus. Because Jairus had heard that Jesus was performing miracles and healing the city. And Jairus begs Jesus, please come visit my daughter because she's about to die. So Jesus went to go follow Jairus to go visit his daughter. While Jairus was on his way to go visit Jairus' daughter, there was a woman with an issue of blood. She had exhausted and spent all of her resources and became worse and worse. But then this woman heard that Jesus was in town. And she got God got and picked herself up. And she went after Jesus. 
And she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I shall be healed. So, as she was walking through the crowds, I'm sure people were trying to stay away from her because of her condition. その彼女のそのコンディション、状態を見て、多くの周りの人は彼女をこうやって避けようとしたでしょうね。But this woman did not care what anybody else thought. でもその人々が何を考えようと、この女の人は全然ケアしませんでした。構いませんでした。She was so、desperate for her miracle. 彼女はもうとにかくこの奇跡を受けたいことでいっぱいいっぱいでした。Until you become desperate for your miracle, until you come to the place where you don't care what anybody else thinks but only what God thinks, you won't be able to have your miracle. あなたは奇跡を受けることができません。So、this woman presses through the crowd. この女の人はかき分けて、群衆をかき分けて、イエス様の方に。She grabs the hem of Jesus's garment. そして、イエス様のその上着の、えー、裾を使いました。And immediately she felt in her body that she was healed and the bleeding stopped. その瞬間にイエス様からの力が出て、彼女は完璧に癒されたということを彼女は分かってしまいました。Now, Jesus was surrounded by multitudes of people. イエス様は大群衆にその時囲まれていたのです。And Jesus stopped. そして、イエス様はピタッと止まりました。Because he felt that power had come out of his body. なぜかというと、彼の内側から力が出ていたのです。Me? そして、イエス様は誰が触ったのか、私を。っている。イエス様の弟子は、何イエス様何言ってるんですかこの大群衆で誰が触ったとおっしゃるんですか女の人は、イエス様の足元にひれ伏して、そして、ありのまま全部自分のことをイエス様の前で言いました。And Jesus looked at her in the eye and he says, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Yes, the man, 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 When she heard about Jesus, 彼女がイエス様のことを聞いたとき、彼女は言いました。You understand? <笑> When you hear about Jesus and his promises, 私たちがイエス様のことを聞いて、イエス様のお約束のことを聞いたとき、you have to speak just like the woman with the issue of blood. あなたもまた、ながちの女の人のように、口からお加工するべきなのです。She said, This is only I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. この女の人はこう言いました。イエス様の子供にさえタッチすれば私は癒されると言ったのです。Was she healed? Was she healed? Yes. Right? Right? Right. 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 Now, this is what we need to do. When we have sickness in our body, my God, you said in your word, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. What am I doing? I'm speaking the promises of God. So many people rehearse the doctor's reports. The doctors are saying there's no hope. It's impossible. Let me tell you what's greater, the doctor's reports or Jesus' reports. You must settle in your heart, no matter how you feel, you're going to believe the word of God. People may think you're crazy, but it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks because I'm going to get my breakthrough. If Jesus says healing is mine, If Jesus' prosperity is mine, if Jesus' prosperity is mine, if Jesus' restoration is mine, then the devil can't have it. You gotta tell the devil, Mr. Devil, get out of my life. And shoot the door on your way out. And shut the door on your way out. 
Amen. You have to speak against your enemy. Right? Amen. Let me give you a natural example. Let's say you have a dog. How many of you have a dog? Okay. Now, do you speak to your dog? Do you speak to your dog? You do, right? Do you speak to your dog? Yes. You tell him, go over there. Right? Do you say, um, can, can, can you go over there? <laughs> no, right? Do you go like this to your dog? You speak to it. You don't just give it signals with your eyes. You have authority over the enemy. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Jesus says, I've given you authority and power. To trample upon every serpent and scorpion. You have power over all the power of the enemy. You have power over sickness. Power over disease. Power over financial lack. Listen, when there's arguments in the marriage, you're being attacked at that very moment. And you need to stand up against the enemy. I was counseling this couple to the point where there's been no intimacy for a whole year. No communication. They live in the same house, but they don't talk. Because there's a root of bitterness and unforgiveness. And I told them, let me get uh, Yumi and James. I'm going to use them as an example. Stand over here, James. Yumi. Hey, right there, right there. Let's pretend they're a married couple. Okay. Let's pretend they're a married couple. Okay. So let's pretend Nathan is the enemy. Okay. Now look at this. There's an, invis there's an invisible line right here. One team, the enemy. Invisible line. He's the enemy. But what the devil does is he removes this invisible line and he paints, paints the invisible line right here. And now what happens is James will think, well, it's Yumi's fault. That's why we're like this. And Yumi will begin to say, well, we wouldn't be in this place if it wasn't for his fault. And the enemy is right here laughing. <laughs> they forgot they're a team. Now they think each other is the enemy. You cannot be ignorant of the devil's tactics. We are one team. The Bible says we're not wrestling against one another. When there's strife, when there's bitterness, 
You're being attacked. あなたはアタックされてるんです。And the most unfortunate thing is many people don't know how to resist the attack of the enemy. 幸せなことには多くの人がそれに気がついていないのです。悪魔がアタックしてるんだということです。And they don't recognize it, so they say, well, で全然それが分かんないから、ね。I'm just gonna leave church. 認識もできないから、私、教会からいなくなりますわ。And so they go to another church. で、他の教会行きます。And then another church. また他の教会行きます。Because the issue was never resolved. なぜならば、その問題というのは決して The issue was never with the members. いい問題はメンバーの中にあるんではない。The issue was with that person's heart. 問題はその人の心の中にある。They did not know how to resist the enemy. それがどうやってその悪魔に対して立ち向かうのか知らないか。あなたは黙って静かに悪魔に立ち向かうことができません。So let's say, James, he, he's been coming to service, he's been hearing the word of God. And as the head of the house, he will begin to declare, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. What God has brought together, the enemy shall not separate. If God is for us, nothing can stand against us. And then he will go to Yumi, and he will say, Yumi, I want to apologize. I understand the enemy is trying to attack our relationship. But we are not enemies, we are on the same team. The invisible line is right here. He's the enemy. And then James will be like, let's pray. The Bible says that's one of the most powerful weapons that you have against the enemy. It's called the power of agreement. Whatsoever you ask, agreeing together, it shall be done for you by my Father. That's why you notice the enemy tries to sow seeds of strife in the marriage. Because he wants to take away the power of agreement. How about、uh, a great hand clap for James and you? Are you learning something this morning? Amen. Amen. So, how desperate are you for your miracle? In Luke chapter 9. Verse 23 to 26. I will read it in English and Pastor Bukiko will read in Japanese. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? ルカの9章の23、24です。このように書いてあります。それからみんなのものに言われた。誰でも私についてきたいと思うなら、自分を捨て、日々自分の十字架を追って私に従ってきなさい。自分の命を救おうと思う者はそれを失い。私のために自分の命を失う者はそれを救うであろう。人が全世界を設けても自分自身を失い。Now take a look at this. Jesus is speaking. If anyone desires to come after me or to follow me, 